Hi, it's Angie from Drop Labs. We're here with Rustin and Kat, uh, my co-founders of High Ground. They've been with the tech and with Drop Labs for about two years, and I want to get their reaction of an unboxing and also seeing what the shoe looks like now. We've been waiting for this day. Yeah, it's been yeah, guys. all the different iterations to this final product. So we're really excited. There, there we go. go. Just to take to open the box. Yeah. All right, so this is our ASMR unboxing video. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, this box is insane. It's got some nice texture on top of it. Comes with some uh, little accessories. We'll save those for later. Got this. Got a bag. Okay. All right. You know, I've seen a lot of unboxing videos, um, so I, I want to make sure that I'm paying tribute to them and doing <laughs> this properly, right? Okay, drop lamps. Let's see it. Wow. <laughs> this is actually pretty nice. Nice colors. Thank you. Okay, so we got a little note. It's got a quick start guide. The shoe, shoe bag, charger, okay, some social tags, some FAQs, let's get it. All the wrapping is the vibe for sure. Dude. First of all, the new shoe smell. Slaps. Great oh, smell. That's, oh, you love this, that smell. That's a new It's always smell. associated with like, you're getting something new that you like. You know, I've opened a lot of tech products, I've opened a lot of shoes, but I've never opened a shoe, shoe tech, tech product. product. <laughs> and so it's funny, like when you open the box, it comes with a how-to guide. Normally you don't really need to like learn yeah. how to tie your shoes. It's but a mixture of like an app product and like a Nike sneaker. Or something. Yeah, that's definitely the vibe I'm getting here. It has but, a really good But the look it. is less Nike, more, more Adidas though, huh? You think so? Yeah, it looks more like NMD with these like mesh right here. Yeah, no, it's, it, but it's super nice. Yeah. So when we tried these shoes out, it was, like some, it was a Samba, and they had cut the sole out, and then they had put like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? The like sole? No, it was like a, yeah, they had this, so, I, from my understanding, this shoe has like a, a, an insert that like has little haptic sensors on the insert, and then they shoot like frequencies towards it, and it makes your fit, foot feel the sound. And so, that was the only thing that they had put in the sneaker, and then it was like an aux cable that you plug into the back of the shoe and then it was hooked up to an xbox and we were playing halo and i'm a huge halo fan so it was pretty we were dope playing fortnite too yeah, yeah that was fun you can see the little set is this a button or is this oh yeah it is a button mm -hmm. so i'm assuming this is how you turn it on once you connect it here is it wireless you no. don't you don't even have to connect it anymore That's oh wow just charging. oh it's just for charging you, yeah. wow so it's bluetooth connected to your you know your device. Wow. Yeah. Right. You put these on. Okay. I'll start unwrapping these. Cool. Right, so cool. this is the, is this a carry bag or it's all the wire, wiring equipment? Actually, there's more, there's more on the top. Oh, there is. Oh, there's oh. more. Stuff. Okay. All right. If you're oh, getting a drop lap shoe, just remember wow. this. Okay. Wait, it says start here, so let's oh, start here. That's the start guide. <laughs> the charger. I feel like a kid in a candy store. I love the colors. The colors are so good. Yeah, yeah. No, I love yeah. the colors. I really like the colors. Shoe bag. Okay. Dope. Very dope. Turn on Bluetooth, download the Drop Labs app, open the Drop Labs app, three step, pretty simple. I think right. I can manage. But, but a shoe bag is a must. You know, not a lot of shoes come with that, but that's when you know a shoe is special. Got the stickers, yeah. you know, stickers. right? Like when you got that super sick soccer cleat that Ronaldo was pushing and it comes with a soccer bag, you knew that was limited edition. <laughs> Let me see gaming package. Oh, wow. Gaming oh, cable sick. Yeah. Splitter cable clips. Oh, shoot. So very specific to, to yes, gamers. The, the, and so the, this, this, comes, <laughs> this comes with every package though. Yeah. Oh, it comes oh, with every wow. package? Yes. Nice. Amazing. So you know what's interesting about uh, Drop Labs journey, at least from how we experienced it, was that in that first meeting, they were running us through like music samples, um, different things, and at the end of it, they had just started to like play into gaming. And they wanted to get our reaction on the gaming side of things. And I think it wasn't necessarily like, clear if you guys were gonna plan to go into gaming, but we tried it and we were like, oh my God, a light bulb went off in my head. It's such an advantage when you're playing with these shoes mm -hmm. because now the sound tech and games have gotten so good mm -hmm. that you can actually determine where someone is based on sound. That's why Fortnite is so good because now when you're playing the game, you can tell if someone is behind you, to the right of you, wherever. Because Fortnite's already really good at the area of sound. Like that's why even on mobile, it shows like the grid, the mm -hmm. circle grid of like where you hear sound, whether it's like behind you, in front of you, on top of you. And even when you're playing the game and you have good headphones, you're able to determine exactly where they are. And with quick, 
like when you're in like a really tight situation, you really need to react quickly with all your different senses. So having sound, but now also sound with feel mm -hmm. allows you to really have that advantage. So yeah, when I'm, I remember playing, you could feel like someone was behind you and it's just a n next level alertness, but also a next level immersion to it. So it makes the game way better. It's yeah. an advantage. It's definitely more fun too. Yeah. Like, I don't know if this was mentioned, but the second time that he and I went together the second time, and that's when Fortnite was put up and we were like, oh my God, if you have these shoes and you're playing Fortnite, you're going to kill everyone because you know where everyone is. Yeah. But it's also like back in the day when we were in the jungle hunting and gathering, the way that you would tell if someone was coming to you was through your feet. You would feel it in the ground. So it's the same shit when you're yeah. playing video games. It sounds absurd, but that's what it is, right? Great comparison. Right. And so we were like, guys, we think that this is perfect for gaming. Okay, so when I put it on, there's like a slight vibration to it. It's pretty cool. Like you can tell if there's like a speaker. There's, I yeah. feel a vibration. That's dope. Swaggy. You know, like what's Drop coming into style right now Drop is like the cool. oh the droplet socks. Fire. fire. All right, let's get into it. Yes, yes. Okay, Walk so me through this. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay. On the on the shoe. On, yeah. on, the shoe? on the yeah on your shoe and your phone. Honestly. Okay. Press and hold the button for zero for five seconds. Release right. button when light turns on. This is the button I'm holding right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one. And release okay. when it turns on. When the light turns on. There you go. Okay. To pair with phone, press the and hold button for two and a half seconds. Both, Release both button, shoes. both shoes. Yeah. yeah. Drop labs EP01. Yep. Did you click on it? Oh, yep. Okay, All right, paired. Very simple. We just overcomplicated it for no reason. You literally just press the buttons on the shoe. Words confuse me. Go in the app, videos, yeah, the and then nice. you're done. The app will teach you. <laughs> Put Bluetooth headphones in pairing mode. All right, yeah, I hear it says it's in pairing mode now. There we go. Charcoal. Okay, I'm doing a sound check right now. Play your favorite track. Put on the EP01. What's the song of choice? Oh, okay, so the song I'm playing right now is Out West off of uh, Jack Boys, the new album from Travis Scott and the Cactus Jack label. So now the app is saying that they're gonna play with the intensity of the shoe. Okay, wow, I'm already feeling something. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay, tap center to mute and unmute. Okay, try myself. So Muted. I need, I need to vlog this. <laughs> unmute. Okay, so basically, the way that you control the uh, the shoe is it's got these little like sound bars, and you can increase the intensity and like frequency of the shoe. You can mute it, unmute it. It's pretty fire. I I'm feeling stuff in my feet right now that. You want to feel, it feels like when you're at a concert, you know, like there's some songs that they're good. They slap, but like when you're in a venue, it's a totally different animal. It's like way better. Yeah. That's what this feels like with the shoe. Can I show you a different feature? Yes. Yes. Go into the app. So you have, if you go to the settings called, you know, these filters, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is like kind of like our go-to blush. Got you it. Velvet. You feel the bass. Oh like wow! So they're EQ. Yeah, yeah. Bright is more, you know, better for like classical or like Got music. It. dramatics for movies. Seismic. I'm sure you're gonna be using that one. Seismic for shooting. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Sick. Yeah. PS yeah. games. Yeah. That's yeah. Us. I think I like Velvet. Yeah, my favorite is Velvet too. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So there, there's like an EQ. You can select which things work. So like, if you're listening to a hip hop song, which is what I'm doing right now, mm -hmm. I think Velvet is perfect for that. But yeah, damn, this is crazy. <laughs> I made a playlist. Uh, okay. It's on Spotify. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you'll see that in like the article that we're gonna post. But um, it's a mix of electronic and rap stuff that we're listening to right now that we like. Mm -hmm. Damn, this is <laughs> sick, dude. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, like, wait, walk around. And yeah, 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 yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Good. Damn. You guys have really like. Okay, because last time that we did, a, the shoe that we had last time was like way more, um, it, it looked more like a sock, it was way more socky, and uh, I don't know, it felt too heavy on the bottom. Like when you would lift your foot, you felt like you were like carrying something with you. Right. But this, I don't really feel that. Yeah. It feels like it's right under my foot, no matter whenever, like it doesn't leave my foot. It's, that's yeah, yeah. the improvement. I remember, I remember that feeling. Yeah, 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 so they, they fixed that. Yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, it's still snug. Yeah. yeah I love it. 
I can feel it. God. Can you feel it? This is like another immersion. Alright, the song just ended though. Oh, okay. <laughs> you give me my phone. <laughs> it's crazy to me that it's a shoe. Is that, like, I could go and fly, like travel. Yeah. This is so great. Like, I'm going to Minnesota at the end of January for the Call of Duty Championship, or the Call of Duty League. They're doing their opener. I was going to bring these. Yes. But now I can bring those yeah. too, yeah. sit in the plane, and I got a whole ass concert in economy class. Yeah. <laughs> when, when it's not touching the ground, it yeah, actually it feels, feels more. Walk, go walk, walk. Yeah, go on like this. <laughs> this is the most enjoyable experience like this. Oh my gosh, it's like pushing me back. <laughs> it's so strange. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, what's up? My name's Rustin Sotoday. Uh, I'm the co-founder of High Ground, and I'm joined here by my co-founder, Catalu. We've been in esports and gaming for what two and a half years now? Yeah, two almost, and a half years, almost thirty maybe. And we were introduced to Drop Labs around like two years ago, so kind of early on in our esports discovery phase. So it was really interesting to see, like I guess like two people trying to really find a way into esports in a lot of different value props, one through tech and one through a service. We've just always been really meshing and really understanding where this could possibly lie in esports, and we think that the product is finally at the point where it could very well be used in a lot of different professional Call of Duty stadiums, a lot of different professional Fortnite streamers. There's so much different value props to this, so it's really great. Yeah, no, it's it's really interesting. Like, for us, we launched the world's first esports gym, right? So it was a place where people would go, okay. compete in tournaments, hire professional trainers, find teammates, etc. And that's initially where we got introduced through Drop Labs, is like, we did this in, insane experience in esports, right? No one had really seen physical esports done that way. It was well branded. And so we made like a splash in LA and started doing collaborations with different brands. And we got introduced to you guys through that journey. For us, immediately we were like, this could be great for gaming, right? Like if I had to describe this to a friend, for the music side of things, I would say like, it, it's like a concert in your home, right? You can't replicate that experience unless you have something like this. Mm -hmm. But for gaming, it's almost like another innovation for the competitive gamer. Right, like, yeah, having good headphones is important, right? Having a really light mouse is important, right? But having a scuff that has control buttons on the back of the controller is an important advantage. Having these is an important advantage now, too, because you can, like we said, hear where people are coming from and feel it. Feel it yeah, yeah we, we brought uh, two professional Call of Duty players. They're both on the Call of Duty New York team, the New York Subliners, attach and accuracy. We brought them in and they were like, dude, this is absurd. They were playing Call of Duty World War II. That was, so that gives you an idea of when they tried out the drop web shoe. Two, 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 two Call of Duty seasons ago. Yeah. Two Call of Duty seasons ago. And now we're here, new season. Um, I'm definitely gonna be taking these with me to the Call of Duty League, show them the shoe now. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they say. Mm -hmm. For us, we've been growing too, right? Since that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're now more focused on a digital platform that Again, value props in esports, we really think that one of the biggest things that we should focus on is building teammates and allowing people to find other people to play with. That was the entire thesis of the gym, was to bring people together in a physical space to enjoy gaming. And we think that we could do it on a more scalable level through a digital platform that allows us to do that through different continents, different games, and really allow people who are aspirational gamers or aspirational streamers, people trying to be like the next ninja or the next professional Fortnite player, to find their squad and find people who are like them, who want to grow and collaborate with each other. And there's just so, such a massive importance within that. So that's just what we're currently working on. It's highground.co, H-I-G-R-O-U-N-D.co. If you want to check that out, apply. Yeah. You gotta apply to get in, but yeah. it's dope. We host game nights throughout the week, pairing up these aspirational gamers together with the goal of essentially like, we want to create the pipeline, mm -hmm. right? Like everyone wants to be LeBron, and it's a very well understood path. But for gaming, there's so many people that want to be the next ninja, but no one has really created the path yeah. for that, yeah. right? Yeah. And so we think that a great way of doing that is by creating a community of people who want to go on that path, pairing them together, giving them things to compete in, ways to grow their channels. So that's what High Ground is. In the future, we want it to really just be like the brand for the aspirational gamer, right? Like, when you think high ground, you identify as a gamer. Like, why has no one really, you know, created something that makes you feel like a gamer, right? Like, when I wear these shoes, I feel like an audiophile, right? Yeah. Like, when uh, I wear Nike to like football practice, I feel like a football player. But we want to create products to make you feel like a gamer. And this kind of falls into that too, honestly. Yeah, so, so I have very aligned divisions. Yeah. Understanding, so yeah. Again, just value props in esports is is massive. 
you know, video games itself is a service and it's really fun, but allowing you to have next level immersion, next level advantage, and us, which is allowing you to find better teammates, it's all very aligned in the experience in esports. And as it gets bigger in the future and as it becomes more professional, you need all these different things to really understand, or you, I wouldn't say you need it, but you can explore different items, different things for you to understand where you lie as a gamer, because it's no longer just a pastime, it can now be your future career, a more intense hobby, all these different things, yeah. Yeah. All right. We've been talking about gaming a lot. <laughs> can we game now? I want to okay. game. I want to <laughs> yeah. try these.